So guess who got caught cheating? Kyle Bush himself. 18 didn't pass post-race inspection. And people all thought I was crazy for thinking that there was something off about that car. Because no car in that package should have led over 8 seconds in that race. None. No one else could have pull, pulled away like Bush did. Because when Cole Custer and Golgai were 1 and 2, they were like closer together. But when it was Bush, he was just like, see ya. There's just, there's just something off about that. So, I say to NASCAR, take that whole win away. Stop babying the, the crybaby and the golden boy of, your, of the sport. Because he doesn't deserve that win whatsoever if he cheated. Apparently, like, the left left side of the car was like raised like too high or something like the height was too high or something like that and Christopher Bell got caught for that last I think it was last week so if I was NASCAR do what the fans say and take away the win that's because we don't like him but he plainly cheated <laughs> so stop sugarcoating everything he does and Stop playing favorites. So, other than that, it was a good race. It was just a, basically a battle for second, which my boy Chase got. So, at the very end of the race, he passed Hamrick for second. So, that's the, the best finish he's gotten since his win at Daytona a couple years ago. Um... Don't remember the next track he'll be at, but he'll be running three more races. Daytona, Bristol, and Chicagoland, if I remember correctly. But next week, we go to Michigan. I think it's kind of one of my favorite tracks. The chase is good at Michigan. He had three straight second place finishes there. All to... Kyle Larson, so we're hoping for one spot better next week, but hopefully we get a good race in tomorrow, and we don't have either Bush or Harvick winning that race, so it'd be nice to see, um, see Blaney win again at the place he got his first win at, got the pole. So that was nice to see, and he got the pull from two guys he beat, coincidentally, last year in the race, Harvick and Bush. Harvick is second, and Kyle Bush is third, so that's a kind of a coincidence and a little ironic. Um, but the uh, Arca race was last yesterday, Harrison Burton, um, in the 12 car, won at Pocono, so that was fun. I'm happy for him. He's 17 years old. That's crazy. It was his first stock car race on like a super speedway or something like that. So, um, that was just I love the reaction his mom always shows when he's leading. Like, she's always so nervous and so excited. I love when moms show emotion and dads are just like so stoic and <laughs> don't show anything. They just try to be like all manly. <laughs> so, um, yeah. That race was fun. I love Noah led half of that race and then had pit road trouble. So he never really got back to the front. He finished 10th that race. Oh, and I ordered some Noah Gregson gear the other night, a couple nights ago. So, I can't wait to get my hat and my shirt. 
I love supporting my favorite drivers. And next week I might order some more Chase stuff. Of course, I might get a die cast shirt, and a hat, and a hero card. I don't know. I'm going to treat myself because I worked my ass off for the last two weeks. So, anyway, Pocono Cup race tomorrow. I'll watch I'll hopefully the majority of it tomorrow before I have to go to work in the afternoon. And, yeah. Chase qualified 11th, which is, isn't bad. So, the Chevys are stepping up their game. They really are. Charlotte, they were like right there. So, so I feel like this could be our weekend to get things going. So, anyway, I'll do the work in about two hours, two and a half. Closing tonight. Working tomorrow and then I'm off for two days. Thank you, God. So I need a break. <laughs> I jump in my pool, drink some beer, um, and hang out with my nephew and all that. What else? Um, yeah. That's about it. It's super hot here in Arizona now. So the next week it's going to be in the triple digits. So it's 105 right now. I'm sweating my ass off. And I have to wear black pants for work. I'll wear this underneath because I like supporting my, my driver. Considering he finished second today. But realistically, he got first because Kyle kind of went he cheated in that race and I kind of knew he did um because no one's that that fast all the time especially at Pocono where they had the like restrictor plates I guess that package it just didn't work as well at Pocono like it did at Indy Indy it worked amazing but Pocono was just too weird so I say keep it at Indy for the cup cars and a couple of mile and a half tracks, but other than that, since it doesn't work for Pocono. So, hopefully everyone has a good night, safe night, and I will see you guys later.